that's uh, increased throughout the entire. Yeah. So this is what the long tube headers did. I mean, they, they picked the torque up immediately and just carried it through the whole power band. Alright guys, so this is the video that you've all been waiting for and uh, I'm really pumped about going over those dyno results. <laughs> Now, before I jump into that, I want to hit on a couple of topics. Uh, the number one thing is I want to say thank you to those uh, that continue hitting the subscribe button, uh, liking the videos, and uh, you know just commenting and, and just showing overall support. Uh, the channel is getting close to 30,000, and that is a big milestone, so I really do appreciate it, guys. Uh, the number two thing is that race against the 392. Um, this car is being set up for 0 to 100, 0 to 110, and uh, to be perfectly blunt, uh, once I hit 100, 110 miles an hour, the 392 starts to creep away. Uh, this car is very competitive with a 392 up until that point, but there still is a, a very large gap in between horsepower. Uh, so by no means should you get um, defensive or offensive about uh, those races all in good fun just to see where the the rt uh sits at the moment uh a big shout out to ted from genetti racing uh he has been dyno tuning and installing the parts of late on the charger and i can honestly say that it's it is just running like a dream right now. Uh, this thing feels like a beast. It is it is absolutely amazing. Uh, so check out Ted's uh, YouTube channel and Instagram. It's going to be in the description. Uh, so let's go over the dyno results and let's go over uh, the modifications that are on the charger at the current moment. Um, uh, right now on the engine, I have a cam. I have a 392 intake manifold with a Diablo... Uh, jammer cold air intake, um, a 85 millimeter throttle body, and then I went and got uh, long tube headers, high flow cats, and three inch piping basically throughout the entire exhaust. Uh, so this thing is definitely breathing very, very nicely. And from a naturally aspirated standpoint, I think um, that's as far as I want to go in regards to the power. I think if I kept it naturally aspirated, uh, the amount of money that I would be shelling out uh, for the amount of horsepower gains really wouldn't be uh, what it is that I'm looking for. So that being said, uh, I jumped on the dyno after installing the brand new exhaust, the brand new three inch piping. And on Genetti's um, uh, Superflow dyno, I was able to put down 397 wheel horsepower and 406 in torque. And that is without any kind of weather um, correction or anything like that. Uh, that was a good day to jump on a dyno and it was able to do that. Now, um, 
if for all of those that are looking that jump on dyno jets, um, that is what I'm used to doing. Uh, this with the correction would be 407 in wheel horsepower and 417 in torque. Uh, so dyno jets are a little bit uh, more forgiving or a little bit more generous. I got interrupted there, but the dyno jet is a, a little bit more generous when it comes to uh, wheel horsepower and torque. Uh, but overall, I am so excited. It seems as though, you know, the modifications that I put in place are really now all coming together. Uh, you can definitely feel a big difference uh, with the, the horsepower and the torque. And, um, you know, the, the exhaust that I got from Genetti Racing, uh, I, I know he had to do some kind of custom work and it actually made it more efficient the way that he bent the pipes and, and everything. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of mods going on with this charger and I have to say that it feels great finally being able to join basically the 400 club, 400 in, in horsepower, 400 in torque. Um, and it certainly feels that way. Uh, if a stock charger jumped on the dyno, it would be in the neighborhood of, of around 330 wheel horsepower. So uh, with the modifications that I have in place, you're looking at almost 70 wheel horsepower in that range, give or take. And um, when I raced one... It certainly reflected um, a, a, a significant difference. And remember, that was before the long tubes. That was before the high flow cats and, and, and exhaust and everything. So uh, big, big shout out to Genetti Racing. I know I keep saying it, but uh, it really, I, it really feels great to finally be able to, you know, kind of bring everything together, have the car working uh, the way that it should. And um, yeah, it feels great, man. So, uh, that's that guys. I, I hope everybody's satisfied. I know I feel a lot better than the last time that I, I reported back a dyno uh, result. And um, yeah, enjoy the footage. I just went to a meet.
Ha, 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 ha.